What concludes my portion of tonight's entertainment? Looks like we got some live music coming your way. I'll be seeing you real soon at a wedding near you. Uh, uh, he hello. <laughs> uh, my name is uh, James Lee Springer. Oh, <laughs> I guess. Uh, all oh, my fans are here tonight. Hi, hi, Jan. Hey, James. Hi, Jason. Uh, um, uh, I'd like to to play a, a new song, one I I just wrote uh, in this bicentennial year. It's called uh, American Real. <coughs> Choose your partner. All join hands for the American Reel. Swing your partner. Do si do. All a man left. And away we go. And away we go. The American dream was supposed to be. This here brave new world is getting old before it's time. The die is cast, the mold is broke, the end's not far behind. Yankee Doodles turned his talents to a life of crime. Hey, get it together. Get down. Give me back my American dream. Swing your partner. Round the floor, swing her right on out the door, swing her right on out the door. Well, the keepers of the faith are having lunch with Satan's spawn. The army of the just don't seem to know which side they're on. That knight in shining armor is watching reruns on TV. Well, he's seen it. All before, but he tunes in because it's free. Hey, get it together right now. No. Get down. Muriel, you're late. Give me back my no. <sighs> Judging from the scores on this test, excuse me. It must be true. Oh, it must be true what a wise and great man once said. If we can learn anything from history, it's that we can learn nothing from history. Especially the way you teach it. <laughs> Who said that? I'll see you at the class. <laughs> I, I just can't believe it, Jason. It's, it's, it's like a dream. With what it'll initially be costing me in record pressing, tour costs and promotion, believe you me, James, it's too expensive to be a dream. You really think you can make it happen? Give me something I can dance to. Come on, give me something new. Something to romance to Give me one the reason why I should believe in you Hey, give me something solid 
give me something real Give me something I can sing to Something I can feel Hey, get it together Right now Get down Give me back my American dream Swing part do si do Old man left it, away you go Swing part around the floor Swing it right on out the door Swing your part around the room Swing it till it crack of doom Swing your part around and around Get down Give us back our American dream Give us back our old American dream Swing part do si do That's the thanks I get. Ah, oh, he's about to go platinum. He needs all the rest he can get. You can clear the room later. Excuse me. Who's the babe? Hi, I'm Jason Fields, roving reporter for What's Happening Chicago, and I'm standing outside the Astor Versailles with a bullhorn trying to get an interview with the Alicia James Lee Springer. Oh, hey, Jason. Hi, James. Your record just went to number one in Billboard. Yeah. You're kidding. I never get about the hot one, huh? It just hit the streets today. I had to come over and wake you up. You know, I wrote that song in 1976. Oh, I did not know that. Uh -huh. Hey, I got something else for you. Also major is a review from last night's Tribune of the show. Note the fact that they loved your butt so much that you, the warm-up act, are the only one they mentioned. Jason, <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, not bad, eh? And now I've got another surprise for you. Oh, Disney! Disney? Ready for me? James, this is Disney Rifkin, your new personal assistant. Howdy. Hi. Don't worry, I had brothers. Uh, Disney here's gonna be a girl Friday. <laughs> Woman Friday. Lesbian Friday. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, she performs with Second City. Consider me your human prescription for Prozac. It is my job to make sure that you don't get depressed. Uh, let me get this straight, Jason. Uh, you hired a stand-up comic to follow me around Chicago. <laughs> well, you're not the only one who's creative. Listen, we wouldn't want history repeating itself, okay? Jeez, oh, Jason. Okay, say something funny. What do you call a musician without a girlfriend? Homeless. Hey, that's good. good. He's good. He's good. Great. I found her. Now, Disney here's gonna be running the James Lee Springer shuttle. She's gonna make sure you hit all your marks. Radio, TV, print, and film. Here's his week. And 10 minutes I gotta be across town yesterday. Hey, so in the once immortal words of Neil Young, are you ready for the country? I said I'd do interviews. Uh, I should just be myself, right? Yeah, go with it, see how it feels, you know? The only downside to TV is that, um, um, you might look a little, might look a little heavier, so, um, don't eat. Bye. Let's go get something to eat. No thanks, I'm anorexic. Huh. <sighs> Who pissed in your Fruit Loops this morning? Never mind, forget the smile. Wake up, James and Springer. You're about to be on morning television. 
Goody, goody. We're talking to singer-songwriter James Lee Springer. Wake up, Chicago. It's about 7.30 in the morning, and our guest this morning is none other than James Lee Springer. Goody. Come on, look happy. Uh, hey, what are you doing? Hey, do the front. It might wake him up. I'm sitting here with James Lee Springer, the man behind the new hit single, American Real. You're from the Midwest, right? Uh-huh, yeah, uh, Hicksville. Hicksville? Yeah, a uh, uh, small town in Ohio. Sounds small. Okay. Yeah, all right, yeah, all you right. Know your name, James Lee Springer, rock star? Very, very Excellent. funny. <laughs> Uh, Mackenzie, I want to tell you a story. You know, I was a, a teenager when I first heard James Springer sing in a bar in Cleveland in 1976. And, you know, the very first time I heard him, I just thought, whoa. <laughs> so this is almost like a small town boy makes it big. Huh. Well, huh. Yeah, I guess it is. No, 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 no. Morning people do not like this. Go on, what a beer. I don't really have much of a lifestyle. I just keep going to these different radio shows and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I live in a hotel room these days. So uh, tell us about the new album, American Real. This isn't decaf, is it? Now, where does that come from? The talent to spot talent. Who can say it? It's called Guadalupe. What's it about? It's about mm, three and a half minutes. <laughs> you, you gotta love this, from Hicksville to the Windy City. So you wrote the song in 1976. Why did it take you so long to make it? What took you so long to make it to the top? What took you so long to make it? I keep punching out record executives. Hi, I'm, I'm James. I'm Gordon. Gordon. You. Okay, Gordon. Did you make it this morning. You get up this early every morning. Yeah. <laughs> you. Oh. Electra, Arista, RCA, MCA. We're going to look at every game in town. Thanks. I didn't know you were going to do interviews. What? Yeah, I mean, the, the little backstory. I gave them some malarkey about your Saturdays in Hicksville. You, you don't mind? No, that's cool. Okay. That's cool. Bottom line is, we are in a mega unique position, OK? We have a hit single, but no album yet, on a small indie label owned by your manager, me, I tell you. Success in this business is like blood in the water. For the next five minutes, you are going to be flavor of the month, OK? We need a major label. We need an album. We need someone to eat that ice cream before it turns into that little melted crap at the bottom. Mm. Well, as long as somebody likes what I do, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't have to do any videos. That's a deal breaker. I'll do all the talking. All I need from you is cross legs and a lot of attitude. Oh, somebody asked me a question. I have to make a little confession to you guys. I don't really listen to the music. Well, my job is running the company. A company where we like what James is about. We want to sign you. We think you're going all the way, James. <clears throat> well, what do you have to say about that? Let me cross-check your input. You want to sign James, and you haven't heard his tape. Oh, 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 I've heard about him, and I like what I'm hearing. <clears throat> me on James Lee Springer is that there's a message to the music. Now, re regardless of the subject matter, that message is let's do it on the road. Now, Barry White. Barry White first broke ground on this marketing type. Only he did it with promo copies. And what I'd like to do, I would really love to do, 
is enclose a condom in every album. Oh. Feedback. Just know that when you dance with Tony Marty, you dance without back-end participation. Hmm? You mean the artist gets it in the back end? I'm telling you that he has a white underbelly and a big black fin on his back. I'm saying that several times a day, Universal Studios, it should be him that swims up and tries to bite the tram. It snuff his own mother. Woo! Are you saying he's a shark? Great white. You know, he bootlegged the Pope. He colorized his own mother. Listen, is, is there anything else I ought to know about this guy? Yeah, it's rumored he likes to put cobras up his anus. Chase, why are we even talking to him? Tony Marty can make it happen. Jason, finally, find time between all those co-eds to uh, bring me an act. Well, it was just the one. Um, I cheat almost finished it. No questions. I'll uh, remind my secretary. We'll send her a little something for graduation. That's it. James, I've, uh, I've, I've listened to your tape. Well, you have? Actually, several times. And, uh, of course, I'm familiar with your single. Oh, you, you put the single in. Jason, I don't want to make any false assumptions here, but I take it your client can speak as well as sing? This isn't one of those Millie Vanilli things, is it? <laughs> no. Okay, good. So, James, just out of idle curiosity, where exactly were you and your music born? I'm from Hicksville, uh, Ohio. Hicksville. Kind of sounds like the end of the world. No, but you can see it from there. <laughs> James, I don't know if you happen to be into astrology or not, but in case you haven't figured it out, most of the guys in this town are born under the sign of Taurus, the bull. Shitter. But I'll be honest with you. I like your music. And if you and I can cut a deal, I'd be happy to have you on my label. Get ready to be happy, Mr. Marty. Tell me. Here's my home number, my office number, my number on my boat, and my number on my plane. Why don't you just give me your mobile number? Good idea. Here is a. Uh, here's my mobile number. James? Yeah, pardon. Let me give you a piece of advice. So when you tell people you're working with me, don't believe all that Jaws crap. But I do cut a tough deal. So uh, get yourself a good attorney. Jason, uh, by the way, congratulations on uh, moving up the dating chain to graduates. Very impressive. Uh. <laughs> okay. Told you it was a class act. I don't need an image consultant. Don't fight me on this one. I don't Natasha. need it. Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha Irena Lavovna Mihailovich. But you can call me Ginny. <laughs> uh, uh, well, Jen, uh, permit me to introduce our diamond in the rough, James Lee Springer. <laughs> How are you? Oh. Me, I am fine, but you? Me Verk. Verk. It's Verk. You start with a handshake. What's wrong with my handshake? Oh, no, okay. Um, allow me to psyche out the unwritten message. Psyche out? Uh, no, 
Magic means... Mm, how do I say? No penis. Oh. Not to me, not to me, but to them. The, the, the nincompoops, the, the giant grasshoppers. I suppose that means I have one. <laughs> Isn't she great? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's... Uh... Listen, he's just trying it on. You have to take that out. Oh. That one you can take out, definitely. We'll have to look at that one. Well, but I can see from here you can take that one out. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, just stitch me up. We won't worry. Thank you, darling. Listen, don't. Ah, uh, I uh, stayed up last, excuse me, night. And I typed up what I consider be the major point of the contract. It's just, uh, it's a rough draft. Jason, that's your department. Don't you worry about it, James. We'll handle it. Walking hollow down my path. God has hit me with his wrath Now I'm left here all alone with me Walking hollow through the rain Happiness gone down the drain Now that it's too late I finally see through me like a knife All that's left to lose is life Since I sent my love away Nothing come to brighten up my day Walking hollow down to hell At the end, just as I fell Saw the light too late to save me Threw away the love you gave me Now I'm walking hollow to my grave Oh, oh, too late to save Walking hollow to the end I lost my long lost friend Since I lost my long lost friend I'll be walking hollow to the end I asked her to set me free Ooh, it's tough to be creative Now is how I wanted it Yeah Especially when there's two guys who may not have your best interests at heart, who may have no heart at all, sitting in another room across town deciding your fate. It's rough. Want me to tell you my lesbian jokes again? Impossible. No, if you're not still anorexic, I'd like to go out and get a hamburger. Let's get out of here. What lesbian joke? Yeah. Thank you this evening. Spotlight for success with independent films. Jason. It takes more than just millions of dollars. I'm watching the news. Jason, I can't sign this. What's the matter, babe? You've, you've thrown me a curveball in the bottom of the ninth inning. That's what's the matter. I know. You didn't want to do videos. Look, Jason, I know it's common industry practice. But we have an agreement. You agreed. Music should be heard, not seen. I can't sign that. We need to talk.
Hey, I'm really stoked about the new album, aren't you? Well, my wallet says yes, but my heart says no. <laughs> you moron! Michael Benedict? Oh, all these guys, who remembers them? You know, this will seem trivial to you, since you don't write songs. But you, you gotta see the truth. There is absolutely no redeeming quality to videos. You know, I know the problem. It's always been bugging you. You're afraid to go through the door. Ah! Start with that door. Oh, what? James used to love the door. It was once a very glitzy concept. It's not a question of glitz, Jason. Really? What is it about? Slamming the door in your own face, perhaps? I don't need a history lesson. Yeah, I think you do, James. Let me recap. Ten years ago, I tried to bring a guitar-tooting hippie from Hicksville out of the shadows of the cornstalks and into the light, the shining light of stardom! Now, you had your chance, James, and you blew it. Not just a little, mind you, you screwed the pooch. And you nearly took me down with you in your, like your, your so deluded little head trip. All right, well now, years later, I come back for you to save your little ass from oblivion again. And, and, and now that you're on the cusp of greatness again, you want to turn this into a holy crusade to leave us out of the desert? Wake up, James. We don't need you playing Moses, okay? Hey, man. There are things I believe in. Things you used to believe in. Don't, don't, don't even stop that empty suit crap. I believe, James. I believe more than you. What the hell do you want? The First Amendment. Freedom of expression. No miniseries. No, no, no product tie-ins. Are you crazy? Nobody gets that! We signed a contract, James. That leaves your future up to me. It's not just about videos. The question is, are you gonna get real? Hmm? When you wake up, James, you give me a call. getting plugs? Plugs? Never mind. Makeup! Makeup, we need some help over here. Hey, you're in a visual medium. I mean, you may want to fill up this hair. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we ready? Hmm? He's ready. He's ready. He's ready. Yes, he is. Hmm. Four words for you. Love the chest hair, huh? <laughs> okay, you know, we're gonna keep this real simple for you, okay? All I want you to do, you're gonna stand in front of that big old blue wall right there and you're gonna sing your little heart out, okay? Now there's just a couple of rules that you need to follow. One, don't sweat. It'll ruin the makeup. Two, if you do sweat, don't wipe it. It'll ruin the makeup, okay? Uh, would you excuse me for a moment, please? Um, hello, Miss, Miss Makeup Thing. Could, could you please come over here for a moment? Do you think maybe we'd want a little more rouge over here? We're looking a little bit pale, okay? It's real hard to find people who share your interests, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Jason, you got a cigarette. Uh, 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 no. uh, oh, oh, we're not smoking in here, baby, okay? It's, uh, 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 okay, no problem. Oh, oh, geez, one more thing I forgot to tell you. Don't look into the camera, okay? Don't look into the camera. Do not look into the camera. I want you to play off camera. Look off camera, look at my cameraman, and he is quite the man, I'll tell you that and much. And don't okay? sing. Do not sing, do not play. Yeah, I don't understand it. Oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna have some fun here. I just want you to stand up there. You can, you know, do a little cha-cha mamba. You know, just move your hips and stuff. So let's just get going. We're gonna get rolling in Guadalupe. Kate. You'll do great. He's ready. No, wait, wait a minute. Uh, uh, don't sweat. Don't, don't wipe. Don't, don't sing. Don't smoke. Um, okay, I'm ready. I'll have a cigarette waiting for you. You're gonna do great. Uh -huh. Roll camera. Oh, play that. 
tiny mound village in a hot and thirsty land. Guadalupe works each day in the local coal plant. His father was there before him. His sons may be there too. He's never tasted any cola and he dreams what he will do Guadalupe Dream on Guadalupe He says someday I will go to where the wealthy people meet and I'll taste their precious cola and I'll taste the food they eat Guadalupe Dream on each day in the local cola plant where they measure life in cola nuts and it's all out of his hand and the past is filled with shadows and the future can't be proved but love will find us in the end when the mountain will be moved Guadalupe by El Paz, Guadalupe by Con Cristo, Guadalupe, dream on, Guadalupe. Cut. It's brilliant. It's not as much fun as playing and singing. But you were brilliant, honey. So you just you just take five, take ten if you want it, and we're gonna try another angle in a few minutes, okay? Baby, can I have a cigarette now? Yeah, you can. Please Absolutely. take it away. <sighs> You're super. S U P E R, super. Uh, here I'm looking at my diary. Uh, ooh, no, I can't do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Well, how about Friday? Beautiful. Yeah, 4.30 would be gorgeous. All right, take care of yourself. Love for the kids. One kid? <laughs> hey, come on, I'm just kidding. Love to Connor, right? Uh, okay, I gotta jump. Bye! Smart. <laughs> so how's Lord William Byron? I think you're uh, combining two different people. Mm-hmm, whatever. How is the poet? Well, the video's in the can. Sweet. It's gonna be a hot video. Right. I don't have to worry, we're gonna fix it in post. You know, James isn't exactly the man from the planet hype. This guy's the real thing. You know? It's gonna be my turn someday. It is such a rush to see him get his first shot. This isn't his first shot. In 1989, I've got him an interview for Marvin Ayres. Ooh, good connect. Great connect. In 89? I got a monster earlier pulling that string. So what, James is playing clubs and hips now with that guy? Cleveland, Detroit, tank towns all over since the 70s. Marvin Ayres wants to see him. Hasn't even heard his songs, but he likes my song and dance, so he wants to fly him out to Chicago. Cool, so James goes. Well, he'd rather be taking the train, but yeah, yeah he flies, he goes. Oh, God, I just love a good horror story. What happened? Marvin Ayres arrives three hours late. You get the picture? I'm Marvin Ayres. You're not. He sits down. He says, play me a song. James plays. And? Marvin closes his eyes. He listens. Eyes closed the whole time. James finishes. No reaction, except he says, play me another one. What a jerk. Mm. Again. Eyes closed, no reaction. Except that he says, Play me another one. <sighs> James plays American Wheel. Suddenly, Marvin snaps his fingers. Oh, God, for a moment there, it looks like he's into it. And then he opens his eyes and he's got this kind of look on his face. And you know what he says? I know the problem. You're writing quality songs. Oh, 
No, 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 he didn't. Oh, yes, 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 he did. I can't take this. It gets worse. Az puts his hand on James's shoulder and starts lecturing him on songwriting. You need a hook, pal. Hook, hook, a hook. And he takes out a cassette, puts it in, cranks up the volume, and says, "You tell me, is this a hit?" Well, now the meeting is way out of control. James shifts a little. Um, I'm kind of new at this game, Marv. Am I supposed to guess if it's great, or am I supposed to guess if it's terrible? Ah! I paid a hundred grand for that song. James says. You got screwed, Mark. Huh? <laughs> As goes ballistic. The difference between me and losers like you is I want a hit. So what did James do? Wanted a hit. James had him. Yes! Oh! Wanted a hook. James gave him a right hook. Oh, what a great moment. Such a bad career move. I'm surprised James is still in the business. Wow. <laughs> nah. He only decked it. Didn't lose him any money. Jason Fields for Tony Marty. I'm sorry, sir. Mr. Marty is no longer with us. What? Uh, hold on a minute, Ms. Uh, uh, Morgan? Morgan, thank you. Let's, let's get this straight. You're telling me Tony Marty is dead? Sir, Tony Marty is now Quest Records. Don't you read the trades? Oh, excuse me. I must have missed that issue. Listen, you don't understand, Ms. My, my client here, James Lee Springer, he signed a major deal with Marty. Mr. Springer, I didn't see you. All right. Hey, let me tell Mr. Whiteman you're here. Jason, we gotta talk to Tony. <sighs> nah, forget it, John Boy. He's gone. How could he do this to us? Easy, you got an offer. Mr. Springer, Mr. Fields. <coughs> well, we know what we had. Let's go see what we got. Senioritis we have today will eventually pass away. We'll miss who? Old and you. Bravo! <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Hi, right, Jason Fields, James Lee Springer. Hey. Uh -huh. yeah. Hey, James. Yeah. Uh, hey. <laughs> James. <clears throat> I'd like to focus on the album you're about to do for our label. Now the album, of course, will be ten pulled by the two cuts off your current single. And the rest, I'd like to see out there on the cutting edge somewhere. How do you see the rest of the album sounding? I mean, how do you hear it sound-wise? Um, Blair. I know it's conventional wisdom that Mozart was alive today, he'd be synthesizing everything with uh, uh, Pro Tool, mm -hmm. digital performance, uh, Studio Vision, Cubase. Great system. Mm -hmm. But, uh, go with me on this. Uh, I was thinking, if this is cool with you, why don't I just bring live musicians in the studio? Live musicians. In the studio. Huh. <laughs> I, I know, it's a radical concept. <laughs> it's out there. <laughs> but I like it. Tell me more. Tell me more. Well, we, we bring in the live musicians, and we play, and we, like, record them. <laughs> So you want to give America back to the Indians? Ha! <laughs> uh, no, uh, that's the second album. Yeah. Oh. You know what I'm 
thinking here? Not a uh, clue. You're thinking, go for it. Bingo, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> We're in business. <laughs> <laughs> You know? Great. Hey. Great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, Blair, you're, you're quite a guy. Yeah. Uh, Soon. Call me. Call me. <laughs> Call me. Hey. You're going to love it. Starving kids are crying And the planet's full of pain Maple trees are dying Because of all the acid rain We're running out of oil And we're running out of trees We're killing all the little animals And the fishes in the sea The babbling brook is poisoned And it isn't fit to drink We're pissing in Throwing garbage down the sink It ends up in the ocean And it looks like on the brink Social armor getting pretty quick The whole damn ball of wax is pretty sick Everything's so wrong it can't go right There ain't no way we'll make it through the night just can't seem to cope We're running out of hope My bleeding heart's sore I just can't take it anymore And then she smiles Maybe if I told the line And hit the mark some more my feet won't fail me now And my back won't be so sore Bringing home the bacon's all I know And all I do It makes no sense to me I'm like a monkey in a zoo My face is on the canvas While a big guy takes the gate A one-way ticket to Palookaville is all I'll ever raid and I've been on my outcast state and sadly curse my fate. Life is just a veil of tears, they say. But sometimes something brightens up the day. Just when everything looks like it's over, you find you're staring at a folly close. Thing looks black She tosses her hair back Reaches out her hand Tells me I look grand And then She smiles And then she smiled. He needs a commercial. Oh, no! There are other but mediums, media. James, James. Okay. Spaghetti. There is dressing for the salads. Darling, besides this great, great, great song, do you maybe have um, a great recipe? No. <sighs> easy to be hard, James. Very easy to say no. I think I could swing you a slow on prime time, James. I don't know, man. Disney, what do you think? Sure, go exposure. Shoot the bull for 30 seconds with a chia pet. Hey, I, I'm just the new kid in town with a number one record. Who would even want me? <coughs> Hi. Uh, 
uh, maybe you don't know me, uh, but if you're hip to radio, maybe you do. I am James Lee Springer, and you don't have to actually live in the fast lane to be like me. Now, all you need is this. The American success card. You buy a lot of crap with this thing. Uh, James, beautiful baby. I think we should lose the script. You seem to have a nice natural quality going towards the end there. Um, don't use the word crap. Okay? You want to come up here and show me how to do it? I'd like you to improvise. Let's have a rehearsal! Oh, and James? James. Huh? Do me a favor, will you? Talk to the camera. Not to the cameraman, but to the camera, okay? You want me to talk into the camera? Into the camera, James. Uh-huh. Improvise. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, um, no, wait a minute. You want me to improvise, but you want me to rehearse first. I don't get it. When you have a number one hit record, like I do, you can buy all kinds of stuff. You can buy a yacht with this sucker. I'm not kidding you. Now, if I try real hard, I can just barely get this out of my pants. Cut! Action! I forgot what I'm supposed to say. Cut. Cut. I'm finally getting out of music what I put into it. Money. Lots and lots of money. Thousands of dollars for lessons that finally paid off. Yep. I used to play all day with my band. Now, I just play with this. American success. Cut. 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 I used to be nothing, just a zero. I was so far down, I had to look up to see the bottom. Cut! I think we're getting just a little too dark here. Now I got this. I can buy anything with 1957 Gibson gold top. Les Paul, then. What the hell? Hmm? That? Leave home with it. American success card. Leave home with it. Excuse me. Must be another record deal. Cut! Would someone please show him how to use a damn phone? <clears throat> Excuse me. Is this really necessary? American success card. Cut! James, you are seriously out of tune with what we're looking for. You want to give it one more shot, big guy? Sure. I'll nail it this time. One more. That's all it's going to take. Just one more take is all it's going to take. Action! People that gave me this card want me to tell you what the phrase American success means to me. Now, you may not agree with me on this, but since they asked me, I'm going to tell you about it. It means the black ink. The bottom line. Screw your buddy at all cost. If you're a rich, white, American male like me, then this card could be just what you're looking for. Cut! That is a keeper. Goodbye, James. Can I keep the card? Bye bye. Bye, James. Kill the lights! Somebody take the shit off my hair. You can't get in. They can't get in, but we've got the hot ticket to give you the inside scoop on tonight's album release party, reminiscent of the golden age of Hollywood. A party thrown by star manager Jason Fields for the highly touted band Dry Member. Jason, 
This is surreal. They think, therefore, we are. <laughs> Anyways, I feel terrible. It's sick to my throat. Mm. Something's definitely going around. I hear James Lee Springer has it. Really? We'll do the deal. You're on my next big one. You're my number one man. Hold on, I've got another call. Yeah, James? We're doing the deal right now. He sucks, you know, so he stole his idea, they made it into a movie yeah, and a mini series and a book, and now he wants to take his own idea just because it was his, and he wants to make his own movie and his own mini series and his own book. And I tell him, you know, forget it. It's already been done. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Actually, listen, I'm sorry about this. What a glass of blood. Please meet someone else. I can't bear it. You're like Jason. the mafia. Hey, hey, where have you been? I'm sorry. Come on, excuse me, excuse me. Here. Right on the blackboard a hundred times I will not be late. Well, you better. They're all hitting on him and everything. Like, hey, James, don't be coying. You know what a fan you are of dry member. Excuse hey. me. <laughs> Can I introduce you to the conscience of the band? Puss. Excuse me. <laughs> Hi. Hey, nice one, James. You got away with me, Lee. Uh, good luck. Thanks. So where's the sweet cake? Oh, uh, there isn't any. They just got those little sandwiches with the crust cut off. No, that's not what I want. There's real food at my folks' house. Yeah? Yeah. Get out of here. You folks live in Chicago? Uh, not exactly. How would you like to take it? Take the dollars. Take the dollars. American success. Really change. Um, yeah. Wait a second. Come on. Take the dollar. Disney. Disney, it's just a machine. Any change? Oh man, I need sugar back. Success. Do you have a candy machine? No, no. That was quick. Is that any mint? Gum? Wow, they're not going to believe this. I guess we want to make love to Kelly McGillis. James Lee, you don't live in no Chicago. Yeah, I do. Make records there. I always knew that guitar would be your ticket. I'm proud of you, James Lee. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks a lot, man. I'm gonna drive. Okay. Well, take it here. Have a nice day. Sure. I would never be able to find my way out of here. I hope you know where you're going. I always get confused here. Don't even tell me we're lost. James. I'm really afraid of rednecks. Yeah, they uh, don't like lesbians very much. Hey, right. You're an ass, you yeah. know that? Oh. Whoa! Hey, 
Howdy, cousin. I'm just yeah. making breakfast, Uncle Jim. Look, James is home. What the hell are you doing, Holmes? <laughs> Is it Christmas? Yeah, great to see you too, Uncle Jim. He's <laughs> always like that. <laughs> Isn't it great? Oh, yeah. Bunch of happy kids. Great. Pardon me, miss? I said that you were all happy campers. Yeah, we, we like camping. I, I didn't catch your whole name. Your name is Disney? Yeah, like the land. Oh. Uh, well, I know you've been asked this all the time, but you wouldn't happen to be Walt's daughter now, would you? No, no. I wish. It, it was your given name? Mm-hmm. Uh, By my first agent. Oh. It's Disney Ripken. Do I hear wedding bells? <laughs> I don't think so. Only if you've had a fall, Mother. You know, dear, it's been such a surprise to have you here on Saturday morning, looking so worldly and all. We've been very proud of you. You stuck to your guns and proved that you could do it. Well, what are your plans now that you proved it? You think maybe you'll go back to teaching? Well, I sort of have a recording contract. Oh. Well, suit yourself. He always has. No, I'm back with Jason. You're uh, your Jewish friend. Yeah, Paul, my Jewish friend, Jason. He's managing me. Is that poor boy still trying to find himself? Maybe there's nothing to find. Hey, you know, I found something the other day that reminded me of you. Yeah? Remember the other day, hmm? I found an ear on the highway. An ear? <laughs> yeah, a human ear. Some dude lost an ear on the highway, some accident or something. Excuse me, restroom? Uh, first door on the right. Cousin. What the hell is there about an ear on the highway that reminds you of me? Van Gogh? You were always so gone on Van Gogh. Yeah, right. Van Gogh was your boy. Yeah, well, Van Gogh was a boy. But if he was so smart, why wouldn't he smart enough to paint what people wanted? Maybe he was painting what he wanted. Uh, would you like a biscuit? No, thanks. Oh. OK, so how come all your paintings from your earless boy go for millions? Don't matter. He never got to spend it. Mr. Springer. Have you ever been to Hicksville, Ohio? No. Don't go. <laughs> it's got sort of a Robert Palmer feel, right? There. Right. Right. Oh, that's good. Hi. Oh, yeah, I'm late. Oh, I'm early. Oh, yeah. Hey. Jason gave me a sneak at Guadalupe. It's done. Oh, you haven't seen it yet? It's incredible. Really? You are going to wake this industry up. I mean, they say you can't make a politically astute message palatable to a rock video audience. <laughs> I wanted James to watch this with you. Would, would you mind uh, watching it again? I could watch it all day. Okay. Hey, cool. I got a little co-ed in the biology department. She'd just die for this. You're still seeing that kid? You're getting it serious. I love her. Huh. <laughs> Tiny mountain village in a hot and thirsty land. Guadalupe works each day in the local coal plant. His father was there before him. His sons may be there too. He's never tasted any cola, any drink. <laughs> Oh, so we tweaked a little in post. Tweet. That's all. Jason, for God's sake, Guadalupe is now a pimp. 
James, I think you're obsessing on the dancers a little too much. Now look, this is a collaborative business. Obviously. Everything I do, James, is for a reason. And the reason is, James, American Real is no longer number one, it's, it's number six. It's your priority. I want to make sure. Bother me. I want to make sure that you don't stay a one hit wonder. Just listen to Blair, James Allah. He thinks like a 12 year old. He's the voice of America. You should have asked me. If you want to stand there and do a video all on your own in front of a blue screen like it's a Shakespeare soliloquy, James, that's fine. We'll get you an agent in Hicksville. Hey, hey, I hear they're getting ready to do Shakespeare. Have they? Yeah. Again. It's not like you'd ever take my advice and go to the gym and pop up or something. You want to ride? I'd rather walk. It's the right move. Trust me, pal. So that I own this car, I'm very rich! Shot at Jim Beam. Make it done. You got a light. I thought I might find you down here. Mind if I sit? Can I get you something? Surfer on acid. Sorry, never heard of it. Sex on the beach, then. So, I saw the video. Yeah, so did I. Yeah, you really piss me off sometimes, James. I mean, you've got your life made right now. You're on the top of the charts, on the top of the world, everybody loves you, and yet, you still have to bug the system all the way. Why? Why can't you just let it go and enjoy it? I can't. What do you mean you can't? You can't what? I mean, I can't just let it all go. That's what. I suppose this all seems very simple to you. Yes, James. It does seem very simple to me. In fact, it seems so simple that I can't believe that everybody's not doing what you're doing right now. Hey, hey! It's so simple that you're getting an opportunity of a lifetime. An opportunity that most people, not even people in this business, but anywhere, would kill to get. An opportunity to see their lifelong dreams pay off into some wild, huge success. And yet, there you are. Mr. James Lee Springer. He doesn't want it. He'd rather be at home. Mr. Van Gogh picking up beers on the highway. No, no. That is not it. That is not it at all. Yeah, I want it. Of course I want it. But I don't want to have to be somebody else to get it. Look, can't you see it? Can't you see what they want me to become just to just a fit in. Yeah, I see it. I see it all the time. What did you think it would be? Did you honestly think that you would change the world with a record? I just didn't think it'd be like this. I get it. You know what I see? I see an arrogant ass with more talent in his little finger than most people get to see in a whole lifetime. Damn. With not only a shot at making it, but an entire second chance at making it. And you're ready to throw it all away. Jason told you about that. Yep. Uh-huh. You know, Most people would give it anything, anything, to be where you are right now. <sighs> be included. Look, uh, I... 
And most people would give anything to have a friend like Jason, too. Oh, yeah. Huh. Some friend. Man, you just don't get it, do you? You don't get it! Jason loves you! He would do anything in the world for you! Jason thinks you're it. You're it! I mean, who else would come after you after the stunt you pulled with Ayers? Look, um... Talk about some friend. I don't know what it is you're looking for, James Lee Springer. But if I could find half the fortune you found in Jason... Look, I'm sorry, James. I'm sorry. I was hired to keep you happy. <laughs> I... I guess I've never seen anyone as real as you. Ah, oh, shit. And still keep his head in this business. Wow. You have something I wish I could understand. Don't let this stuff come between friends, okay? You may not believe this, but... Jason needs you as much as you need Jason. I'm out of here. See you tomorrow, okay? I'm sure you can understand. You know, the band's album just went gold. The boys' first big tour. Puss is under a lot of stress. <laughs> Look, I really think you're blowing this out of proportion. It's, it's just indecent exposure. Ah, uh, yes, I can understand the airline's concern. Excuse me. Uh, can I call you back, please? I've got another call here. No, no, it's, it's not some more show business bull. Ah, screw you! He'll buy his own plane! Cool by the hotel, you know, but uh, you were out. Yeah, I got your note. I was out running. Oh, good. Listen, I'm glad you need to talk to me because I need to talk to you. Got this poster you messengered. James Lee Springer. Sold out. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you're probably going to think I'm paranoid, but <sighs> see how this reads? James Lee Springer sold out. James Lee Springer sold out. I sold out. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I think you're paranoid. I think you should get your doctor to give you a prescription for the Valium. Oh, James. You know what I'm going to tell you ain't going to make you feel any more groovy. The label's been bought out, and uh, the label's new president is Marvin Ayers. Huh? 
I'm sorry, James. What is it with this business and, and whew, this musical chairs routine? What, what are they, trade record executives like baseball cards? No, it happens everywhere, James. In this business, it just happens more. And I'm history. Oh. What, you won't meet with him? Jason, I decked the man. One punch. I, I knocked his lights out. Well, I apologize for you. No, 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 no. he's a businessman. You don't act on his label. <laughs> the man is devoid of principle. He's the hole in the middle of the record. You know why, why I never went back to England to join the filth barrage we know as taste? Let me take you around. American music. I love the music, James. I've always loved the music. No, 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 you can't lie down now, please. And why is it, Jason, that since you've been living here, you've been acting like Marvin Ayers? What is it? Something in the water? Is that what it is? Your career was in the death draw. I made it first. I did it for you. Jason, I do not want to be the next self-destructive pop icon. Oh, jeez. I remember the way people used to look at you when you sang your songs. You know, real talent, James. People want to touch it. Yes, yes, they want to feel it. This is you. Jason, I've got... I got no kids. I got no wife. How do you turn this thing off? I've sacrificed everything. Look at me. What have I got to show for myself? Your music. Jason, you just don't get it, do you? It's not my songs. It's not my songs we're talking about here. It's my life. Ah, exactly. Oh, I'm not you. I, I can't do what you do, but if I could, man, I would do it. I would not want it done the way you do it. You manipulate, you abuse, you, you mortgage our friendship to buy yourself things for your ego. Oh, yeah, that's me. I'm guilty as charged. Yeah. Just take the damn meeting. Uh. Hey, you feel better? I know I do. I give up. Oh. Listen, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, James. Let's go in there, hear the man out. If you can work with us, I can too. Entirely your call. Hey, it may surprise us. Hi, Joey. Your way or the highway? Across the board. Huh? Are you serious? <laughs> I'm liking this. Ah, I get to make, after all these years, the album I've always wanted to make. Let's rock and roll. Play me another one. Guadalupe. Go for it. Okay, now, we've got a video of Marvin. James here is ready to kick butt grande. Take the Robert Palmer effect. In a tiny See, it's kind of Latin. Science fiction Latin with a bit of edge there. Guadalupe works each day in the Lord. Well, that's it. You, uh, you get the picture anyway. Uh, Play me another one. Another song? Another verse. You got it. Okay. <laughs> so, no offense to the first verse, but here is where it really gets good. God, this girl was there before him. His sons may be there too. He's never tasted any cold. I know the problem. He's still writing quality songs. I guess I inherited you with the label. All I can say is go back into the studio, come back in a few months and play me another one. Because I won't release these songs. Look, I hate to see a guy making the same mistakes, so let me teach you something about the music business. I am not in this business to save the planet, kid. I'm looking for a smash. So you 
you Leonard Cohns, you Paul Simons, you can all sit around doing a circle jerk all day long. You'll never sell one-tenth of what I sold with a dry member. Irving Berlin is in his casket, baby. Give me something to sell. Give me Madonna coming out of the shower. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe one day you will come up with something releasable. Or maybe you'll get smart and say, Marvin, he's my boss. He knows the music business. Give me song titles. But just know, I want the biggest hit this town has ever seen. <laughs> I'm ancient history. Huh? Lesson plans. I figured I might as well teach school this fall since I'm not recording for the record label I'm signed to. Oh, you ain't not recording for nobody, my boy. What are you talking about? <laughs> How are you gonna manage when I'm gone, hmm? I call as a she cuts a deal, okay? He releases you from your contract. He's not your greatest fan. After all, he does think you're an old hippie with an attitude, of course. We know he's absolutely right. And in return, I give him Disney for a comedy record deal. Comedy's hard. Think about it, James. <laughs> I love it. I love it. He's a businessman. Oh, that makes one of us. Ah, well, now if I can... A little surprise for you. Blue collar uh, guy! Jason, you gotta stop giving me presents. Oh, no, no, no. Those were not presents. This is a present. Thank you, here will be fine. This is my contract with you. Want to try that? Yeah. All I have to do is hit this button and feed yours here. Well, if I'm not home in ten minutes, the 
The real estate person's gonna bust my chops. So. You going someplace? Uh, yeah, anywhere, man. I mean, how about you doing Chicago? You know, too many crazy bullshit artists. I'll, I'll get uh, uh, caught forwarding. So you, what about you? Are you going back to teaching? Back to Hicksville? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. So we should, I don't know, open some champagne. Boy in hand and light the night. I'm hurting now, but I'm all right. Feed me just one dream to call my own. Every move I ever made, every chord I never played, I'll make up this moment here. See her now that August night. Her skin so smooth, her step so light. In the wind, her hair so brightly shone. Feed me a dream, feed me a dream. Now what's to come, but what has been? Feed me just one dream, or oh, I. Feed me a dream, feed me a dream Feast of bonnets, songs and screams We don't change things, they just stay the same says you haven't heard the half of all there is. Feed me a dream, feed me a dream. Let me tell you what I mean. Let me show you, then let's have Had a drink with Mother Time after we had down the wine. You know she tried to have me tell her what went wrong. Blink my eyes and missed the ball. Clapped nine times and that was all. She knew how much I'd missed it. Feed me a dream, feed me a dream. Of apples, peaches, chocolate cream. They just let me laugh at one I haven't heard. Feed me a dream, feed me a dream. Let me probe the mystery. They just let this mass of sound become. Another chance. Sometimes I go right. 
I'd feel so glad. No, it's rocky. No, I didn't. But it was shimmering bits of glass. Wouldn't try to work this out. Sometimes I go left and it's all I can do to keep my breath as I struggle uphill, not knowing if I reach the other side. Never feed me a dream, feed me a dream. The face was once a baby's face, and the place was once a boy's. Now it's white and scratchy like a movie screen. Let this Holds mess of sound to see the colors that it drip that dissolve to somehow draw them together. Pictures of friends, pictures of girlfriends. If I call you on the phone, or just those that I've loved. Gross you can just those that I've pretend loved. you're home. Hey, then let your mind go wandering wild. And the recordings there, they run, they rewind, they reverberate. The feed me a dream, life. feed me a dream. Crimson. Just seems, hey, just feed me one and hear how loud I smile. Feed me a dream, feed me a dream. Can't you feel how much it means? Break the peace so I won't have to stay. All the layers of silence which can never be heard. Feed me a dream, feed me a dream. Birthday candles burst and see. Hey, if you ignore me, I can't go away. In my face. I can't go away. Feed me a dream. I can't go away. Feed me a dream. Or else I'll stay. You look great, Jason. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can't believe you really did this. Had to. I can see you're really roughing it out here. Yeah, well, I'm not very materialistic these days. And you should see the sunrise out here. It's like Ansel Adams stopping George O'Keefe, you know. Hey, you know, I've been doing some painting. No kidding. I'd like to see your work. Uh, no, I, I painted the bathroom, you know? A little bit of the kitchen. Ah. Huh. So, I guess you're just watching the wheels go around, huh? Yeah, watching the wheels, making deals. Huh. Yeah. Thanks. I received a fax from HBO. It needs your attention ASAP. Ah, no, I tell them, um, you know, transmission incomplete to the store. Okay. Yeah, well, the way I see it is, uh, you don't have to return all your calls, but you got to answer your calling. Hmm? Yeah, she's just doing a little postgraduate work now. Hey, I'll drink to that. What's she majoring in? I'll be following all your reviews. Yeah, it should, it should be a great tour. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, you know, you didn't shake my hand last time. And I'm not saying my handshake has really improved at all, but I'd like to try it out before I take it on the road. Well, works for me. <laughs> ah. <sighs> I 
Thanks for your support, man. You know, there were times. You, know, you were the only voice. Well, at least it was always a loud voice. Never forget what a single voice can do, James. Ladies and gentlemen, James Lee Springer! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, James Lee Springer! Thanks, thanks a lot. It's good to be back. Yeah, thanks for all that. I see a whole bunch of our t-shirts out front here. I I'm glad you bought them because we really need the money. I'd like to, uh, later for that. I'd like to introduce you to the band. Come on, guys. Band, this is the audience. Audience, this is the band. Okay, let's make some music. I've, uh, I've written a new song. And I'd like to dedicate it to uh, a real dear friend. The castle was a little town. He lived in a house way out on the outskirts of town with his chickens. And his goats And he painted pictures all day long And that's got nothing to do with a song Cause all I mean to say is I love Beethoven was just as deaf as a boy But he sang a song all day long He heard it with his inner ear And everybody falling in heard the sound he thought it was just about the best around There's always a way All I mean to say is I love you If I made you cry Honey, all that I 